Hello. It's me, the ultimate G-Man, here to show you my manga collection. First, to start off with my least favorite series in my entire collection, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Um, I've had this thing for years, and I still haven't read it. Um, I just have the card. I just never really took my time to actually read it. <laughs> Silly me. Um, yeah, get that out of here. Next. We'll have another series that I had more of, but I lost. Something just happened. Don't get mad at me. Shaman King. Shaman King's a classic. I love it. It's really good. It's enjoyable. But, um, you know, not one of my favorites. Uh, it's just good. You know, a good shonen just to watch and enjoy. But, yeah, get that out of here. Next. This is, this is, this is very common. A lot of people know about this. I personally... I am not a fan of this series. Well, I used to love this series. Actually, I have two of the volumes from two of my favorite parts in the entire series. So, I'm going to show y'all. It's a very well known. I'm going to give y'all a sec second to guess. One, two, three. Bam! Naruto. Naruto. Gara versus Naruto. This fight was good. I actually enjoyed this fight. I love evil Gara the most. New Gara, you know, get him out of here, you know. He's just a, he's just a wimp, a punk, and I don't enjoy his character as much as I used to. Um, but, yeah, Naruto, volume 15 and volume 20. Now, as you can see, there's tape on them. Um, I have a lot of siblings, so stuff isn't going to last that long. But, yeah, good, okay series. Um, I don't... I, did, I hated the ending, but the rest of the series is pretty good, pretty good, enjoyable. Um, let's get that out of here. Um, next, this is pretty much my favorite shonen right now in my collection. I mean, I have my number one favorite shonen. I just don't have it in my collection right now. Hunter, Hunter. Oh, yes. I love this series so much. I enjoy it. I enjoy the crap out of it. I remember... With first coming out in 2011 and watching the episodes, we keep weekly just look at Meruem. Meruem, he's just such an awesome character. Oh, so awesome. He's like, I'm going to kill you. Ooh. Anyway, um, yeah, Meruem and his people, Nefropito, you know. I, I used to have volume one, but it got lost and it's nowhere to be found. What the crap? I should be able to take care of my manga more. But that happens when you have a lot of people in your house. Anyway, continue. Next, we're moving on to my three favorite volumes in my collection. We're going to start off from probably, it's not my least favorite volume, but it just doesn't have the stuff that the other two volumes have. And that is Sunny by Taiyo Matsumoto. Look at this and say you don't want to read it. Look at it. It's just so beautiful. The art style... Um, it's really good. Like, it's, it's, it's really enjoyable. Like, look at that dog, and look at those color pages, man. Look at that. Look at that. Taiyo Matsumoto. Taiyo Matsumoto has one of the most unique art styles of any mangaka out there. He's one of the originals. He's original. Like, this volume was enjoyable. It's crap. It's about these kids who are, like, orphans and crap, and... Their adventures being more orphans, and it's really, really good. I'll probably do a review on it later on, but, you know, sunny. Next, we have Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga. Look at this. It's Vikings. It's freaking Vikings. It's so epic. Look at that. The binding. Everything about this series is wonderful. Characters are wonderful. I actually read past this online, but this is the only volume I had. Like, I read most of it, and I saw this in the Barnes & Noble. I was just like, I have to get this. I have to get this. The sad thing is I got most of these at Barnes & Noble, Noble, except for my friend ordered some of them online. Well, like, look at this. Look at that. 